Honda HS520 oil change. Never done an oil change. It may be quite difficult for the first time. Where is the oil located? Oh, the machine's not that heavy. Just a little awkward. Oil's located right here. The drain plug. Some of the things may be in your way when you change oil. The first question we have to ask ourselves, what type of oil do we use? Honda Power Equipment 5W30 Official Genuine Honda Oil. Today, it could be synthetic, whatever brand you have, or simply don't change it. On the cover, 5W30, you're going to need something to catch the oil in. You want to cut this out, maybe put this in a bag and tilt it over. It's all up to you, whatever you have to drain your oil. Your capacity is a half a quart, so not much will come out. With the 12 millimeter socket extension, Lefty Lucy, you can hear the tightness, about 12 to 15 torque pounds. Are there any crush washers? Yes. Are crush washers needed? Yes. If you don't have a crush washer, you may simply reuse the one that is on there. Take out the plug drain, lift out the crush washer, put the new one on. I don't have a new one at this given time. If you don't have anything to catch oil, you should have did this before. Put this in the bag, wrap it around, protect the floor, and you can see that everything is covered up and the oil will go in the bag when you tilt this over. You do not have to be perfect. Just make sure you get the oil out. Any tools in your way, please put to the side. As you tilt this out and under, the oil should start to come out. It's going to get on the snow throw. So as I get myself situated, and I'm tilting my snow thrower down on the container, you can see the oil coming out. I tilt it further down, and I sit here and allow the oil to drain. I got most of my oil out. So I am lifting up and holding my container. I show these actual demonstrations of the right and the wrong way for many reasons. You can learn from mistakes. So as I pour in the old oil, maybe I want to get for you to see the old oil and can see how old it is and discolored. It is dark. Glad I changed out my oil. Grab the towel, wipe down, take the plug. You want to make sure it goes back on. And you want to tighten up. 
righty tighty. 15 pounds, if I don't have it, I just felt the crush washer crush. I'm going to clean up my area. Where are we going to add in our oil? There is a neat little trick and I want to show it to you now. When we add our oil in, we're not going to add it straight up. If we do, what's going to happen when we start to tilt this to the regular position, the oil's going to spill out. On the container, a half a quart. What we want to do is we can add some oil in, not a lot. That's all I needed to add in. Now I'm going to simply tilt my machine down. I'm not going to be able to see when the oil goes in. It's going to be quite hard to pour in. So if I had a funnel that I want to destroy, I'll start to cut it. I am going to do this in increments, a little at a time, like so. Do a little measurement. I'm right about here. So I am going to add just a little bit more. I can't see what I'm pouring. And that's why I personally use a funnel. Congratulate yourself. You just changed your oil on your snow thrower. It wasn't that hard. You simply lift it up, unbolted the bolt, put the bolt back in, add your oil, and you're ready for the belts. So I hope to see you on that video, the hardest part of this is getting dirty. Have a great day and thank you very much for viewing. I hope that video was very helpful to you.